Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today we are doing a shop mustache. It is a day late because I didn't have a video up yesterday. If I don't have a video up, it's usually because I had to work late. Getting in some of that sweet extra overtime and or I had an appointment. But usually it's because of having to work late because if I have an appointment I try to do some pre-filming and stuff like that but working late is usually a last minute thing like hello such and such not coming in you need to stay late so yeah that's kind of what happened and so yeah I can't help that but so yeah there's no vlogmas <laughs> this year because a lot of people are gonna probably be calling out this month so though I don't mind those sweet extra Christmas dollars though okay so yeah anyway wait, what is this did I break this already good going Jennifer man all right anyway okay I tend to do this if you're new here. I tend to go off on tangents. Anyway, okay, shop my stash where I take all the makeup that I used last month, put it back over into long-term storage, bring out some new makeup for this month, put it all on my desk here, and that's the makeup that I try to use for this month. I do have Things that stay on my desk like single shadows. I only use one concealer because I'm very particular about concealers. I keep the same primers over here. I have a stack of palettes that I always use that um, are like highlighter palettes and blush palettes. Uh, highlighter, did I say highlighter? Blush, blush and highlighter palettes mainly that I dip into sometimes. Although I have blushes and highlights in here. Uh, I keep some powders out. I keep most of the setting sprays that I'm going to use. I didn't change out mascaras, which I'm trying to think. Did I change out mascaras last month? I, I probably should change out mascaras. But I didn't change out mascaras this month. I really only use a couple of different eye primers. I only use one under eye corrector. And... I have one of these for pigment, for use of darker, although most of, most of my um, foundations pretty much match me now. I have a couple of things left over from last month. I didn't really change out the powders, because I really, the face powders, because I really want to try to work through the powders that I have. And yeah, I kept these two cheek palettes out, because I want to use them for this month. And yeah, I'll keep all my eyeliners over here, all my eyeliners that I use. I have a big old thing of eyeliners over there, but only the ones that I really use. I need to really do another declutter of those. I have been talking so, so long. If you want to see what I picked out for this month, which you saw one thing, and I already broke off the most interesting part of it, which was this little bitty... Saturn planet, and I don't think I have the glue to fix it. Hmm. Oh, well, yeah. okay. Anyway, if you want to see that, and the palettes, the eyeshadow palettes, those are the most interesting things that I pulled out, which aren't as much many as I normally pull because oh my gosh, there are so many boxes over there. It was all a blur, I promise. It was all a blur Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Hmm. Okay, I'm thinking, I'm, I, I don't know if I should do a haul or not, but anyway, let me know if you want to see that. But in any case, I have less palettes than usual because I know I'm going to have to be going through those. Anyway, okay, I just got off of work less than an hour ago and I am ready to do some filming and okay you're seeing this on a saturday well i don't know when you're watching this honestly i'm putting this up on a saturday okay it's my friday and okay all right hang tight <laughs> be right back
A few hours later. Always feel free to skip ahead to the transition point if you don't want to hear me chat, chat, chatter away. Okay, even though it never ends, really, to tell you the truth. But let's go ahead and get down to business. What kind of stuff do I have? I have this full of makeup. I'm gonna try to go in order, although I can't. It's it's hard when I put it all in here, but I'm gonna try to start with lip products first and put them over here into my caddy here. And I'll start with this first unfortunate product here. This is from ZC and it is the, it is a liquid lipstick and it's just called the, okay. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and break out my glasses in here now because this does not have a name. It just has a number. It's called XO3. And this little guy here is this color here, which I thought would be... I pulled out a lot of reds, a lot of different colored reds. And yeah, I pulled out a lot of liquid lipsticks too. But I also pulled out some of my favorites. This is the NYX. This is Milky Gloss. I, you know, I bought some stuff from NYX. I was probably coming in tomorrow. I should have bought some more Milky Glosses. But um, I mainly bought their Christmas, their holiday stuff. Okay, I did get a Moira lip oil out. This is in the shade bubble pink that milk that this is milky gloss that's the milk of cocoa and then i brought this out this is seattle london right yeah it is pump pump plump i think i got this from ipsy and this is what's the color what's the shade name here villain okay cool so I got this out for a nice red lip gloss. And then I got this Vamigas shade that in, it's in Valentina. I'm not going to swatch everything. Okay. And I finished, I got, that came in a duo. And I finished one of them. It was in a separate, a separate color. But it's, that's a really good lip gloss. I got a Buxom in Sabrina. I swear, I think this was in my project pan that I started earlier this year. Yeah, I did not get through this at all. This is a nice shimmery gloss. I love these buxom glosses. Glosses? Glosses. I swear I don't do this on purpose. Okay, I also got out my black lip gloss from NYX. It's the butter gloss. It's in the shade Licorice. I, I don't know. I just thought that would be fun. I got a Maracuja Lip Plump. Juicy Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump, and it is in the shade Mixed Berries. Yeah, Mixed Berries. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that because when you click it up, you can't click it back down. Okay, and so that is that, and it has that nice smell to it. Those don't stand up. Okay, then I got out the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Leo. I I had that Christmas cookie one out that I got in that mystery treat. I should I should get that one back out too. But this one's a little darker. I'll look right there. That one's cool. And then I got another Jeffree Star. This is the Velour Liquid Lipstick. This one is in the shade Pink Kitten. And let's swatch that here. Oh. This one is pink, and this one's kind of dried out, too. I forgot about that. A little bit dried out, but we can fix that. That's kind of on the pinker side of red. And then I'll, I'll probably be bringing out more as the month goes on. This is the another Maracuja Juicy Lip Cream from Tarte. These are from Tarte. This is in the shade Mauve. And that's that color. I'm not going to swatch this one. This was a really good everyday kind of lip. Something that I'd probably take to work. Then we have a lip oil, I believe, from... <laughs> it's all been wiped off. This is from ColourPop, but that is what that looks like. And something just to add on top of things. And this is another 
that we would add on top. This is from Juvie's Place, and this is called It's Electric. I remember Miss Gloria giving me this one, and so that would be a good topper for like a red lipstick or something like that. Then I've got out this New Sticks Magnetic Matte Lip Color in the color Boho. I have... Oh, that is very brown. That's this one right here. Uh, I don't remember if I liked this or not. Then I got out probably the only thing I own from Gerard Cosmetics, although I have some of that white canvas base somewhere around here. This is this is very mauve. That's definitely what I would call mauve right there. This was a liquid lipstick. We'll see if I get around to wearing that or not. What I don't wear this month, I need to declutter. So, because my lips, my, my lips are out of control. <laughs> my lip products are out of control. And I really need to call that down. Okay, this is the Super Gloss by Bella Pierre Cosmetics. This one is really nice. I, I really like this one right here. And then, Okay, this is probably the biggest category, I promise. And then a Supreme Lip Gloss from Jeffree Star. I really, really like this. I love that. I love that. The doe foot, that is. That is, oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> I'm not going to yell at y'all anymore about looking at that. Christine got on to me about that. About yelling at y'all. Okay. And then I got two more Juicy Maracuja Lips. And Maracuja Juicy Lips. One is in Wild Berry. Another berry one. And one is in Pearl. These I really need to go through before they go bad. Really need to go through those. Then I've got a Tower 28. That one is in Coconut. Love those. And then I got out my... I have my Gucci blush out. So I thought I'd bring my Gucci lipstick out. This is in Diana Amber. I love this. This is like one of their lipsticks, one of their lip shines. It is right, right there. I can't see the, I can't see myself in the camera with these glasses on. So I'm just kind of blindly pointing. Okay, right there. And yeah. So maybe, I don't know if that matches my blush or not. But then, okay. I could be wrong. Oh, yeah, and I am. There are a couple of more things left. This is the Jeffree Star Red Room. And I really love this red color here. I'm going to put it on my knuckles up here. Right, right there. That is a beautiful red. Love that red. Mm. In fact, I keep it. I still keep that one in this box. I love these velvet trap. Oh, it's a little dirty though. I love these velvet trap lipsticks so much. I keep them in their, their little boxes. And then something I really, really like is this Kajat Lip Stain in Fig Soda. So I'm keeping that over here as well. Now, we might be done with lips. Might be done. I, I, okay, we're going to move on. Okay, what should we do next? Let's do foundations. Let's do foundations. Okay, so I brought out the Say Slip Tint. Did I put my glasses back on again? Let's try this without it. Broad Spectrum SPF 35 with sun SPF 35 sunscreen tinted moisturizer. But I some I I liked using this in the summertime, but uh, it's probably one of the best. Tinted, moist, tinted ones I've used this year. I really, really like this. I wanted to try it in the winter time and see what I thought about it. So I brought it out. I am keeping out the Sephora Best Skin Ever. You know what? You know what I'm wearing today? This Best Skin Ever, two pumps of this and one drop of these B. Goldie Bright Drops from Drunk Elephant. And I love this combination. I'm going to be doing this combination for a little while before I switch over because, oh my gosh, it just is, mm, 
loving it just loving it okay anyway but i am gonna use some other foundations this month i've got this beauty blender bounce skin tint which i need to start using because i did get it over the summer and i just need these I, this is in the shade what shade are you light four but it is kind of dark for me so i need to use it lightly very lightly i'm not going to mix it with my mixing because this is very heavy and that's got use it's in a little dropper it's like a liquid form and this is like very very heavy so it's going to change the consistency too much so and this is my favorite probably my favorite drugstore foundation this is the l'oreal true match in c1 i bring this out like every other month so i brought this back out and then this Kelly Ray Free Dreaming Skin Wellness Diffusing Tint. I don't know. All I know is I bought this and then it went on sale for half price on Sephora. And I'm still reeling from that. This is in the shade V3. It might still be on sale at Sephora. I don't know. But I don't know. How many times am I going to say that? I don't know. It's got something in it. Okay, and it's very liquidy, very liquidy. Again, trying out some skin tints in this weather to see if it'll help my dry skin, basically, because these heavier ones, this one doing pretty good, but these heavier ones that I just put away this morning are killing, are, what do you call it suffocating my skin basically so i'm going back to using some skin tints so we've got the cali ray one out okay those are all of the foundations now what am i looking at i'm looking at blushes okay for let me open up the blush drawer here and for blush i got the man eater the Tarte Man Eater Blush and Glow. And this is in the shade. This is something I also bought and then it went on sale at Ulta. This is in Raspberry right here. I don't think I'm going to do any swatches of the blushes. But this is Double Duty Beauty. Okay. So this is a nice liquid. Let's get the foundation. A liquid blush that I really do like. I got another Tarte blush, but this one is a cream blush. I think I got this from Ipsy. This is in the shade. This is a Maracuja Juicy Blush. I love using Maracuja. This is in Coconut. I like this. I saw some more of these on Ipsy. If y'all are shopping the Ipsy sale, the add-ons that go with all the choices and stuff like that. If you see these, they're only like, well, I don't know, $12 or something like that. Maybe even less than that. They are worth it. They are, they're really good blushes if you like cream blushes. So I like that. Okay, more, let's keep talking about cream blushes because I like cream blushes. Okay, I got the Essence Baby Got Blush. And this one, I thought I was getting the e.l.f. one. I didn't get the e.l.f. one. Okay, but I like this one just as much. This is in Rosé All Day. And we love a cream blush, you know. You gotta really, really screw. I don't know, but... Um, it takes a lot to scrub a cream blush. Let's just say that. Okay. Mm. Then, like, say this. This isn't that great of a cream blush. Well, it's more of a liquid blush. And it's easier to screw up a liquid blush. The, this is a, I was going to say, this is not a cream blush. It's a liquid blush. But this one, I don't like that much, but I'm going to use it anyway. This is from Moira. There are things from Moira I don't like. And this is called... Chemistry? Is that what that says? It's O2 Chemistry. I'm going to give this some more chances. Let's swatch this out. Maybe it's just the color I'm not in love with. Maybe that's it. Or 
I don't know, maybe it just doesn't look right on my skin. Maybe, it, maybe it's just the color that doesn't look right on my skin. I don't know. But that is from Moira. And then I've got the little Ilia blush, which I, I think I just brought out last month, the month before last. And this is in at last. This came with my little birthday present from Sephora, I believe. And this is a very pretty blush. I like that. You know, even these mini cream blushes, they'll last you a long time. And then from Persona. Okay, this is a red blush right here that's a cream. Mm, it's a little bit of a different color though. It's a little cooler where the top one is a little warmer. So, yeah. Maybe that's just too pigmented. Mm, I don't know. But this one, this bottom one is from Persona. It is a little cooler. It's called Kiss. But we like that. Let's talk about some powder blushes now. Yes, powder blushes. I've got the, this is also a bronzer. This is the Hula Secret Oasis from Benefit. Not a huge fan of the Hula Light bronzer, but I really do like this Willa blush here. And when I use this blush, I will use this bronzer at the same time. So it's not a bad bronzer, but it's not my favorite either. But I will wear it. So uh, we got to love that blush. And I don't know. I just like duos like that. And then I have the Moira. I do like this Moira blush. This is the signature ombre blusher in Sweet Peach. Always got to pick out a peach color when I'm picking out blushes. Let's see if we can get a good swatch of this. This is a that's very light peach. Very light. But... We can get it. We can get it. We can get it on the cheeks. And then another peach color I got out is a little more pigmented. It is from Onzo. And this is called Peach Gleam. And it is a glowy. It's a glow. Oh, yeah. It's a glow. I mean, okay, get it out. It's a glowy blush. Okay. All right. Let's talk about highlighters now. Let's get all those blushes, beautiful blushes in there. Highlighters. You're okay. The fun part. Okay, I got the I got a cream one out. This is the Tarte Maracuja. More Maracuja juicy stuff. More Maracuja Juicy Glow from Tarte. This is a nice one. It's a really nice look as far as creams go. I'm keeping out the Pink Star one from Onzai. And I am going to use this more. When I got this melt one, I didn't use it enough. So now I'm going to use it. This is from the Nightmare Before Christmas collab. It is the True Love it Never Dies one. Okay, I've got to swatch the highlighters. Okay, if that Moira blush, it stained my hand a little bit. I'm going to start a rolling declutter thing going. Like, if I don't use the products or if I don't like the products that I bring in the shop, my stash, by the end of the month, then they are gone. Okay, this is the True Love Never Dies highlighter. Oh, it's like a multi-chrome. Can you see that? Beautiful goodness. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. And then probably, okay. Now, probably another one of my favorite ones is this, just this indie brand that I've never heard of before called Pure Cosmetics. This is the Velvet Vixen Midnight Kiss one. It is another. Okay. Where's the pigment? Okay. This is getting old. It's like a purpley pink one, just like, kind of like the Midnight Star one. In fact, if the Midnight Star one is the same as this one, this one might be on the chopping block as well. But that one's a nice one. The Pink Star one's a little bit more glittery. A little bit more glittery, though. So I don't know. I'll have to do a comparison. Not right now, though. 
I can't, I can't declutter anything right now. One more highlighter. Yes, I didn't pick a lot of highlighters. I've got so many highlighters over here in these palettes. I need to start using those. Another favorite is the House Labs, the Peach Quartz. Another peach thing to go with all those peach um, blushes. Love, love, love that. In fact, you know, you know, it supports having another 20% off sale. What happened? Didn't I say I was going on a low buy? Well, we'll see. We will see. Okay. I've got, oh, I've got one more highlighter in here. And it's this buxom one. It's a pink one. I won't swatch this one, but I really do like it. I've had this one for a while. It's the White Russian. It's in White Russian. And it's a really nice pink highlighter. And we have got those in there. Okay, we can shut that drawer. Let's open up the powder and bronzer drawer. Okay, I've got my Makeup by Mario bronzer stick out in the shade light. I bring this out pretty much every other month. Then I've got the ColourPop bronzing stick, bronze stick in the shade Laguna Beach. We've got this one. I'm not going to swatch any bronzers. Bronzers, bronzer. Some are light, some are dark. Most of mine are light. Some of them are very dark. And then I have the Moira Cream Blush, a blush bronzer. I do like this one a lot. It's a little more on the yellowy side, but you know, I like, I like, I like all kinds of bronzers. Some people don't like the the ones with the yellow cast. Some people don't like them with the red. I I just like I like all of them. I do. And then I have the Moira. This is the Moira. It's also, the Moira, this one is the Signature Bronzer in Sunkissed Honey. And this is their Powder Bronzer. Okay. I have to think what I'm going to say, or I'm going to say something weird. Do you feel that way? Okay, as far as powders go, I've got my House Labs, I've got my Lunar Beauty, I've got my Laura Mercier, oh yeah, I've got my Moira over here, and also for highlighters, I'm keeping this Miss Uranus from R.E.M. Beauty, but, and I've also got this Rebelde, Reina Rebelde one over here that I'm just keeping over here permanently, but I'm also bringing out my Kosas one, I'm gonna, I need, I've been... Okay, slow down, Jennifer. I have been taking a little makeup bag to work, and I want to start bringing some powder, but I need to bring, I can't bring this. I need to bring something like this. So I pulled out two of them, and one is the Kosas. Well, it's obviously not going to be this one. Okay, it's the Kosas Breezy. A, Kosas Cloud Set in the shade Breezy. I did buy a new one of these recently at the Sephora sale. It's sitting up there. But I need to I need to get through that. And then I got the L'Oreal True Match <sighs> Super Blendable Powder. And it is in the shade W2 Light Ivory. Yeah, sounds about right. I do have a good pan on that. So, yeah, so I do touch up my makeup at work. Oh, those go in here. Not you. You go in here. Okay, for now, until you make it to my makeup bag. Okay, so that is it for this. Oh, by the way, if you watch one of my, if you watched my video where all my stuff fell over, yeah, that was in the palette ranking video. Yeah, my sign, my Jenny's um, makeup, Jenny's beauty area sign fell over. Yeah, it broke. So, you know, I have to say R.A.P. to that sign, at which I'm really surprised it lasted this long because I've had it a couple of years. It was a really cheap sign that I bought from BoxyCharm a couple of years ago. And yeah, it has served me well these last couple of years. It lived a good life, but... 
it's just going to be good vibes from here on out. So anyway, let's move on to palettes. Okay, these, um, I can't guarantee I'm going to use all these palettes this month. I didn't use all of the ones I pulled for Shop My Sash last month or the month before that. And so we're just going to have to see. And sometimes I pull palettes, other palettes from there. Like when I do palette roulettes, I don't know if we're going to do that this month or not. So we'll just have to see about that. So, and also, like I said, there's not as, there are a lot of palettes here, but there is a, a, I'll be bringing a lot more palettes doing get ready with me's, doing first impressions, things like that with those palettes. So chances are, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get through these palettes, honestly, but I brought them out because I wanted to try to use them again. So the first palette I picked out was the Soft Glam 2. This was something I got a couple of holidays ago from ABH when they had like a set that they put together with some mascara and some eyeliner and like a box. No, wait, what was it? No, that's when I got the Sultry palette. This, they were just selling this separately, and I didn't want to buy the full-size one, and I thought, this, this one will do. So, I bought the Soft Glam palette, and I thought this would be appropriate, something appropriate to wear for work, so I pulled this one out. Then, I bought this one. This is from Revolution. This is the Elf, you know, the movie Elf with um, Will Ferrell in it. This is called I'm a Cotton Headed Ninny Muggins. And I, I like that movie Elf. I like to watch it when it's on. Um, or when I can find it. I don't know. I'm, I'm one of the few people that really like that movie. But, um, I did this for a collab. One of the very first collabs I ever did was a Christmas collab. And I used, I bought this palette specifically for that collab and used it. But I really haven't used it since then. That was almost two years ago, too. And this is what it looks like. And I would like to try to make a Christmas look with it. Now, this looks more Christmassy than some other Christmas palettes I'm going to show you here in a minute. Okay, but this one it just looks fun. So I've got that one. And then I pulled this one out. I bought this at the drug, I actually bought it at the drugstore. This is the Revolution Forever Flawless, the Good Vibes, Chilled Vibes palette. Very, very light palette, but also very, very work appropriate palette. So I thought I would just get this out to pull out one morning and get ready for work with it. So that's what I pulled this one out to use and then I've got the Ulta. Ulta did before Colourpop ever did a collab with Harry Potter. Ulta actually did a collab with Harry Potter and this is the Gryffindor palette. So I thought I would pull this one out and use it. I actually have the Ravenclaw palette but I don't have that one anymore. Um, I, all I have is the, because I didn't like that one as much. I am a Ravenclaw, <laughs> but I do like, I like the Gryffindor palette better. I just did. So, we have that. And then we have the Ace Beauté Flair palette. Another grungy, beautiful grungy rainbow palette. And this one has just a couple, just Oh, okay. It has four. It has four shimmers in it. I I like this one the best on it. No, I like this one the best. Honestly, I don't think I've touched that. I don't think I've touched that one. I like this one the best, honestly. And I don't think I've ever used those two. I, it's been so long since I've used this palette. That's why I pulled this one out to try to use it again. Maybe I could even. Meh, maybe a Saturday look, but probably not during the week. But yeah, try to use that every Christmas time or January time. I pull out my Nomad Whistler Snow Lodge palette because I want to use my Nomad palettes because I'm trying to rank them at the moment too. And also, this just reminds me of winter time. So I wanted to use this palette. In fact, I'm doing, I am doing my Sassy Divas collab tomorrow. Maybe I will use this palette. Hmm. 
we'll see about that okay so this is what it looks like very pretty palette one of my favorites well we will see i guess we'll see how it's held up over the years so we have that one another one i just got out for work and the fact that i haven't used it in a while is the b bella palette the wild behavior palette haven't used it in a while i was thinking about decluttering it but then i looked at it again and thought eh maybe it'll be a good work palette maybe so i got it out in the hopes of trying to use it for work the thing is there's only i don't this color isn't that dark and the only really dark color is a green so i don't know we will see how it works out otherwise it might it might be it might be going into declutter okay so next we have the smitten in switzerland by bh cosmetics Probably, probably the first I ever got from the travel series from BH Cosmetics. I don't know. I thought, you know, this would make a good wintertime look. We will see. I can probably make a work look out of this one, too. It's got enough neutral colors in it as well. So, I thought this would be a pretty palette to pull out. Okay, the two Christmas palettes that I got were from Onzai and this is the Merry Christmas palette this was the palette the you know what I just don't like color savers that much okay this was one of the Christmas palettes holiday okay holiday palettes but it says Christmas that's why I keep saying Christmas one of the holiday palettes from last year and this one out of the four that I got, this one probably screams Christmas the most, I would say. Okay. But I still like that Ninny Mudsman's one a little more. But I've tried two of these four palettes and they just haven't been really that pigmented. So I think this one might be the best because everybody kept talking about how great they were. But these were influencers who got it in PR to, as well. I got to keep that in mind. Okay. And then we have the Snow Dream palette, which I'm looking forward to trying this one as well. Because this one has green and red in it. And I am going to try to do a red and green look. Maybe for Sassy Divas. So this has green and red. Another light green that I'm probably going to have to pack on my eyelid. And this does have a nice matte, light matte in it. That looks kind of like a white pink cream color. I don't know. I can put that in my inner corner. And yeah. So this one looks a little more holiday. It looks more wintry. But it does have those red and green colors. So I'm looking forward to using these two. These I haven't used. I've never used before. So, today on my eyes, I have the Nabla Read My Mind palette, and hopefully I'll get to use it again sometime this month. We'll see. I've got so much stuff to use, but I'm mainly using this, this, this. This is the shimmer, and this color right here is very beautiful if you want to do a nice rosy look. Very nice. So, I like this palette, and then... Then, for the big palette, I've got the 35F from Morphe. This is the Fall into Fabulous, Fabulous palette. It's a nice palette, but everything in these middle columns is a shimmer. <laughs> and you know that I like mattes, but this here and this here, it's probably all the mattes I need, but... I do prefer a palette with more mattes than shimmers. And this is like Shimmer City. That, it is. All of those. Every single shadow in these middle columns is a shimmer. I did not realize this until yesterday when I was looking at it. Okay. Anyway, that's all the palettes that I pulled for Shop My Stash for December 2023 and all the makeup that I pulled for December 2023. Let me know if you have any of this makeup, what you think of it, 
what have you pulled from or shop your stash for December? Or just what are you looking forward to using this month? Did you buy anything for them Black Friday, Cyber Monday? that you are looking forward to using anything like that just let me know down in the comments i am dying to know i love reading comments from you guys okay so please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it share it with your friends if you think they would enjoy it as well Thank you all so much for watching, whether you are a subscribed viewer, whether you're a casual viewer, or whether this is your very first time ever watching one of my videos. Hello, welcome if you like what you see and you want to see some more, hey? Hello, I would love to have you. Please consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell, setting it to all so that you're notified every time that I upload a new video. So, I hope y'all are all having a wonderful, fantastic, amazing day out there today. If you're having an especially hard time, know that I am thinking about you. I am sending you out all of those good vibes. Just remember to stay strong, stay healthy, and stay safe out there. And I will see you in another video soon. Assuming I don't have to keep working. <laughs> okay, just stay well until then. Good night.